Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Lawan. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So there's a lot of NBA insiders who are pointing Dylan Brooks to the Miami Heat. So this reporter said, I could see him finding his way down there and the Heat being aggressive and trying to get a guy at a relatively bargain basement price. That to me, that feels like a front runner right now. I will say all the reports came out that, that the Grizzlies do not want Dylan Brooks under any circumstance. I will say that's pretty crazy how they don't care if he comes back on a two-way, on a minimum. They don't want this man back on the roster. I will say I just think that there's a few things wrong with Dylan Brooks. I think that he really got away from the game of basketball. And what I mean by that is you're a high-level role player. All you need to focus on is basketball. You should not be trying to, you know, talk trash with LeBron James and some of the other best players in the NBA. He's more worried about talking trash than actually focusing on the game when you're in a playoff series you need to be locked in now we all talk trash everybody talks trash in sports who doesn't but to say that you're talking trash more than you're actually focusing on the game i think that's where he went wrong also too is he a coachable guy because in my opinion his coach is supposed to tell him to shut up if you're giving us trash numbers and you're barely hitting the rim when you're shooting the ball you should not be talking You should not be showboating. You should not be trying to trash talk LeBron James poking the bear. Why? Why would you want to piss off one of the greatest NBA players of all time? So I think it really comes down to, is he a coachable player? Because a lot of people don't understand. You can have all the talent in the world, but if you're not a coachable guy, will he listen to a guy like Eric Spolstra? That's my thing. you know. And once again, I just think that he really needs to focus on his game. This summer, I hope that he's really, you know, working on the weaknesses of his game. I think a lot of young players, they don't really work on their weaknesses. You see them in the gym doing the same things over and over and over again. And then they come in the NBA and then wonder why they don't improve. I will say Dylan Brooks, he is a good defender. To say that he's trash, I just think that the moment got too big for him. He had no business, you know, being the highlight of the Grizzlies versus the Lakers. Leave that to Ja. He's a star player. You need to focus on your game. Dylan Brooks, at best, is a high-level role player. Would he fit on the Miami Heat? Maybe. I think that he has the mentality, but once again, is he coachable? In uh, 2021, he averaged uh, 17.2 points, 2.9 rebounds, and 2.3 assists. Uh, This year, he averaged 14.3 points, 3.3 rebounds, and 2.6 assists. So he's not trash. This year, he played 73 games. I just think that he really needs to focus on his game and get better in the gym. I do think that he is a great defender. That is one thing that I will give him. His game can be very streaky at times. And once again, the fact that the Grizzlies pretty much threw him to the curb and saying, we don't want you under any circumstance, that means he's going to be cheap. And the Miami Heat will have a better way to get him in terms of maybe giving him a two-way, maybe giving him a minimum, the mid-level exception, all those different things like that. It's so it's, it's somewhat in the Miami Heat's favor. But let me know what you guys think about Dylan Brooks possibly joining the Miami Heat in the offseason. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.